freedom of speech been already suppressed in the Western world? Why do Christians speaking up for what they believe in cause such emotional reactions in the society? And where should we take our motivation from? I will be talking to a member of parliament of Finland who has been accused of hate speech just because she posted a photo of Bible verses online. Now she's facing up to two years in prison. This is Against the Thai TV, Hanna Jasgarska, welcome. Hello, this is Against the Thai TV from Poland. My name is Hanna Jasgarska and my special guest today is Mrs. Pajvi Razanen, uh, a member of Parliament of Finland, former chairwoman of a political party, Christian Democrats and a former Minister of Interior of Finland. Welcome and it's an honor to have you in our TV. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, Ms. Razanen, you are accused of hate speech because of a photo of Bible verses that you posted online. And uh, my first question is, um, can you tell us exactly what happened and what was your first reaction to to the prosecutor's um, actions? And is it the first time that uh, that it happened in Finland? Yes, this is the first time that has happened in Finland. And I now face three criminal charges for the same crime. Uh, I'm accused of criminal agitation against a minority group. And the three charges filed against me are the following cases. The first charge is about a tweet I published two years ago in my social media accounts. In addition to Twitter, I published my tweet in Facebook and Instagram. And in the tweet, I questioned uh, the Evangelical Lutheran Church's official support to Helsinki LGBT Pride event and accompanied my publication with a photo of Bible from the letter to the Romans. And secondly, a pamphlet I wrote already in 2004 male and female, he created them. And the third charge is about my views presented in one program of the Finnish Broadcasting uh, Corporation uh, when I visited a talk show series and discussed about the topic, what would Jesus think about homosexuals? And I have to say that being criminally charged for voicing my beliefs feels very unreal and absurd. Uh, the decision of the prosecutor general was surprising. It was even shocking. Uh, and I do not think that I have committed any crime. And in all these cases, the question is about the Bible's teaching about marriage and sexuality. And uh, have you received any support in the case? And what out outcome of the case do you expect? Yes, I have received uh, astonishingly much support from Finland and also abroad. Uh, many leading figures from different Christian organizations from Finland and abroad, several pastors, for example, uh, and also some of my colleagues in parliament have shown their support. And uh, many lawyers have also contacted me. And I have to say that during these criminal investigations, I have received thousands and thousands of encouraging messages and contacts. And I'm very, very thankful for, especially for that, that many are praying for me and this case and also for Finland. And I trust that our Lord has eventually a good plan for our country because so many people are praying for, for me. Um, thank you very much for, for this beautiful testimony. Um, I would like to talk to you about um, the notion of freedom of speech and expression um, more generally. 
Uh, the pastor of my church, his name is Pastor uh, Paweł Hajecki, has also been taken to the court um, because of his activity online. Um, the prosecutor claims that uh, my pastor has offended the religious feelings of Catholics. And now, having taken the, your case and Pastor Hojecki's case, um, do you think that Christians should, how do you think Christians should act in today's uh, society? Do you think the truth should be limited only to what doesn't make people feel bad? Yes, we are living at a time when the effect of Christian culture to the society is narrowing. The basic teachings of the Christian faith and Bible are no longer uh, views of the majority. And this is uh, what happens in Finland. Uh, there has happened a, a strong change from my uh, childhood in, in, in the Finnish society. And I, I think that we are facing similar kind of challenges in other Western countries also. Um, the foundational rights are threatened when people stop using them. And I, I think that everyone should be free to express their deeply held beliefs about important issues without fear of censorship or criminal sanction. And especially important, this is for us Christians who are called to lift up Jesus and the Bible. And in a democratic society, we must be able to disagree and cope with speech that also insults our feelings. Many questions are nowadays so debatable and contradictory that we have to have the po possibility of discussing and also debating. Otherwise, the development is towards a totalitarian system with only one correct view. Um, you mentioned Bible and uh, you mentioned uh, your faith and I would like to ask you, where do you take your motivation to speak out out loud about your views from? I, I think that the whole chain of events is part of my calling as a Christian influencer. My motivation comes from the Bible and from my will to have an impact on the society. A conviction based on the Christian faith is more than only an opinion. Uh, the early Christians didn't renounce their faith in lion's caves. Why should I then renounce my, my faith in, in a courtroom? And if the teachings of God's word about sin are rejected, the whole core of Christian faith is made empty. The sacrifice on, of Jesus on the cross for the sake of everyone's sins and the way into eternity. And maybe um, even a little bit more uh, personal uh, question. What exact role has the Bible in your life? The Christian faith and the Bible are in the core of my whole life and work. I believe that every human being is created in the image of God and therefore human value is always absolute. And during my whole parliamentarian career that has lasted 26 years, I have been very open about my faith and opinions based on the Bible. And now I have to say that it is very surprising that at this moment I'm criminally charged for this. The Christian view of human beings is based on the equal dignity of all persons. And the teachings concerning marriage and sexuality in the Bible arise from love, not hate. And when you ask that what role the Bible has in, in, in my life, I... I I read it every day and 
I think that the core message is about Jesus, why he came and what he has done for all of us. Thank you again for this, for these beautiful words. Um, I would like to ask you about your plans uh, for the future. Would you like to uh, take any actions to make the Finnish government modify the law, uh, maybe so that other people will not fall into the situation such as you are in? I think that it is easiest to answer that question after uh, we see the result and the outcome of the court that is coming in the end of, of this year. But I have to say that freedom of speech and religion, they are fundamental rights recorded in the Finnish constitution and moreover also in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. But, however, the breaking of the Christian virtue is visible both in societal discussions and in the decision making, uh, whether we are thinking of pro-life issues or protection of life, both in the beginning and, and in the end, or views related to marriage. And um, it is important to remember that there is no universally agreed definition of hate speech. In fact, in also in Finnish legislation, we don't have that concept. But there are some forces who would like to have this concept also in, in, in Finnish legislation. And if uh, hate speech was in our legislation, there would be even a greater risk that it limited our freedom of religion and free speech. So I think that it is extremely important to defend the freedom of, of speech. And how would you encourage especially young Christians in your country and also in other countries uh, around the world to, to bravely stand up and speak up for the truth and for the gospel? Yes, I, I think that it is extremely important in, in my country and also uh, everywhere else that uh, this process that has happened to me doesn't uh, make them censor their uh, sayings and their testimony about Christianity and, and gospel. And I want to encourage uh, the Christians to use their internationally guaranteed rights and speak up according to their fate. Democracy entails an inclusive political system in which all groups can participate and all voices are heard. And regardless of the final outcome of my case, I myself intend to use my rights and trusting that the Bible is God's word uh, and, and that the, the God's word is a solid foundation for the gospel to bring forth new life and win hearts. And I want to remind that God wants to use us Christians to spread the message of the crucified, resurrected Jesus. And that's why it is so important to also uh, speak about the Bible and and uh, strengthen the trust upon the Bible. Thank you very much. And the last question, uh, you and your husband, uh, who is a Lutheran pastor, uh, wrote a book about marriage. It has been also published in Poland, in Polish, and it is available in Polish bookstores. And I would like to ask you about uh, this book. If you could just say a few sentences um, about this publication. Yes, in fact, I have also a copy of the Polish book with with me. And uh, in, in Finland, uh, the marriage has been a very, very topical issue last years. In, in our church and in our society. And that's why me and my husband wrote this book for uh, 
to help the Christians uh, uh, to go this discussion. And uh, now uh, uh, it is also translated in in uh, English and also in in some uh, some other uh, languages as Polish or uh, Hungarian <laughs> language and so on. And uh, we want to defend the marriage uh, that is uh, between man and woman and uh, that the sexuality of human beings is supposed and is aimed uh, to be between man and woman. Thank you very much for this conversation. Thank you very much for your encouragement. We wish uh, all the best for you and we wish the outcome um, of this case uh, um, is uh, beneficial for you and that it is a good opportunity uh, also for you to spread the gospel and spread the word of God. So thank you again for this conversation. My special guest today was Paivi Razanen, a member of Parliament of Finland. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. This was Against the Thai TV, Hanna Esgarska. See you soon.